When Jesus was here on earth, he had to hunt for again to find a man. He went to the up and ups, the educated, and the intellectuals. Could he find anybody? No, sir. They called him Beelzebub, the devil. Yes. He could not find a one that would follow him. What did he do? He had to take the best he could get. Isn't that a pity? I've often thought, listen, we're closing church. Listen to these remarks. I've often thought what, 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 how we've deprived ourselves, how we've robbed God of his plan, but not surrendering our lives completely to him, everything that we have to him, how that we have, of, uh, uh, disallowed his, his program. How we've lingered and made him to wait and wait and wait, trying to find somebody that he could work through. Trying to find a man somewhere that he could put confidence in. Some man that would surrender everything. Come in a sane, sensible way to God. Say, Father, here I am. I, I don't care. I'm going to follow the scripture, the blueprint. I don't care what anybody else says. I'll stay with it. And really mean it. I don't care what it costs me, Lord. I'm nothing to begin with. But I want you to lead me. And let the Holy Spirit that wrote this Bible and made these promises confirm it back through my life. I feel that you're leading me that way. Here I am. Send me, said Isaiah. In the temple when he seen the cherubims with wings over their faces and over their feet and flying with wings. And they got a coal of fire and cleansed his mouth. Then the Spirit of God come on him. Why can't we? God can't find man like that. When he hunted for his disciples, he came to his own. His own received him not. He couldn't find nobody. They was waiting for that. Today the world's waiting for divine healing. But I don't care how much divine healing you you do, still they won't believe you. Well, right after they turned Jesus down, when the 70 walked away, he even turned to those disciples and said, you want to go too? They said, where would we go, Peter? He said, you have the words of eternal life. And he went right out and there was a man that didn't even have eyeballs in his sockets. And he made some clay and plastered his eyes. Told him to go wash in a pool, Salone. And when he did, he come back see. Did that change him? Did his popularity rise? No. It went down, down, down. Why? He stayed on the road. He stayed on the road map. It's the same today. They see signs, wonders, miracles, and everything performed. And they say, oh, there's nothing to that. It would happen anyhow. See? They rose Lazarus in the grave. Looked like they would have shook the whole nation. The Bible said he would do it. That was the science that was to follow. When he stood to the Samaritan woman here and said, You have five husbands, that ought to shut the whole world. And he stands today in his people, and you see it time after time, perform the same thing. And they say, Ah, oh, well, I guess that's all right. Just simply unconcerned, no surrender. Oh, they'll put a little time, go to church once in a while. Something like that. But when it comes to make a surrender, no. They won't do it. Won't surrender. They don't want it. When Jesus called his disciples, what did he have to do? Get the very illiterate type. Man and people who couldn't even sign their own name. Peter. John. The Bible said they were ignorant and unlearned. That's who he had to get. But if the intellectual wouldn't, they wouldn't hear him then. They won't hear him now. That's right. They've got their own course. They're on their own road and they, they follow that road because they've been instructed that way because their pastors, their, their uh, bishops and their cardinals and, and popes and hot war directed them on that road. But the Holy Spirit will bring you back to Pentecost. Amen. Every Amen. time. Every time they did the scripture to everybody and it will in this day to everybody. Yes. It'll bring you back to that reality. Yes. It'll bring you back to a baptism of fire of the yes. Spirit. That'll lead you and it'll never take one way or off the Bible. Amen. You'll stay right in the Bible. Where it says this, it'll follow right on through yes. it. The Holy Spirit will. It brings a reality. What did he do? He had to get these ignorant fishermen. Didn't even have clothes, just something wrapped around them. Fish aprons and so forth. No clothes. So ignorant they couldn't sign their name. Unlearned it. No education. But he found somebody. He had to get somebody. But he found man in that kind of a state that was willing to surrender. That was willing. They had nothing else to hold on. They didn't have any churches, any denominations, anything. They were just ignorant fishermen, sheep herders. Didn't know how to write, didn't know how to read or nothing. But they had nothing to lose. And he got to them and they surrendered. They said, whatever you say, Lord, we'll do it. We'll follow you. But when they completely surrendered and gave themselves over to God, 
God gave them a Pentecostal reality. Amen. He led them up to Pentecost and given the Holy Ghost. There were, they were there under the Spirit of God making all kinds of foolish signs to the people, stammering and stammering and carrying on and trying to... The Bible said, what was he on? They was on the highway. Yes. The Bible said, with stammering lips and other tongues, why I speak yeah. to this people. And this is the rest of the soul. This is the thing that will come. Isaiah 28, 18. Read it. With stammering lips and other tongues, when I speak to this people, this is the rest. Not Sunday ain't the rest day. The Holy Spirit is a rest day. You Advent brethren, not the seventh day Sabbath is a rest. The Holy Spirit is a rest. With stammering lips and other tongues, when I speak to this people, and this is the Sabbath. This is, Sabbath means rest. This is the rest of the soul. You have eternal rest. Like God, when He made the world on the seventh day, He rested after that. He rested. He went on resting. When we enter into God, we rest all the time, not from one Sunday to another. Amen. We rest eternal. We got eternal life. Amen. The Holy Spirit gives you rest.